Red Riding Hood and the Little Bad Wolf. Once upon a time, there was a cute little girl called Red Riding Hood. Her doting grandmother gave her a red hooded cape, and from that day on, Red Riding Hood always wore it. Lately, grandmother wasn't feeling well, and Little Red Riding Hood's mother was concerned. Red Riding Hood, I'd like you to take some biscuits and treats to your grandmother. She is sick, and I'm not sure if she is eating very well. Little Red Riding Hood's mother gave her the basket full of delicious goodies. But you must be very careful, said her mother. I want you to go straight to your grandmother's and do not talk to strangers along the way. Little Red Riding Hood agreed and she set out upon her way. It was a very long journey and the basket was terribly heavy. She became weary and decided to rest for a while. Out of nowhere, a wolf appeared and stole her grandmother's gift. Oh, wolf, you mustn't take that basket. It is for my grandmother. Your grandmother, said the wolf. Yes, my grandmother. She is feeling sick and I am bringing her biscuits and treats to make her better. That basket looks very heavy. Let me carry it for you. Okay, said Red Riding Hood, forgetting her mother's warning. The two raced together the rest of the way to Grandma's house, and the wolf carried her basket the whole time. We're here, said Red Riding Hood. Do you want to meet my grandma? Um, no, said the wolf. I'm kind of tired, and I should get going. Okay, said Red Riding Hood. Thanks for carrying the basket. You are very nice, so I was glad to help you, said the wolf. Aw. Goodbye. Bye, said the wolf, and bid her farewell. While she waited at the front door, the wolf slyly slipped around the back. Grandma, I'm here, said Red Riding Hood. But at the same time, the wolf banged upon the back door. Grandma didn't have the best hearing, and she thought Red Riding Hood's voice was coming from the back. Grandma opened the door. And there was that terrible wolf. Give me all your cookies and meat, said the wolf, or I will kill you. <laughs> Laughed Grandma. You are just a silly little wolf with an inferiority complex. Red Riding Hood could hear the commotion and she went to the back to see what was going on. Grandma, this is my friend the wolf. He carried your biscuits all the way here so I could bring them to you. He is a liar and a thief, exclaimed Grandma. Come on in and let's eat the biscuits together. Leaving the wolf behind to think about his behavior. It's not fair, cried the wolf. I'm not really a bad wolf. I'm just hungry and I want something to eat. <laughs> Grandma heard the wolf crying and opened up the door. I I'm not even really a wolf. I'm a border collie. I just wanted to scare you so you would give me some food. Now, now, little border collie. We will share our cookies with you, 
but you must promise never to lie or trick my granddaughter again. Okay, agreed the Border Collie. So they all had biscuits and tea together, and after that the Border Collie was always honest, and he even had polite table manners. And they all lived happily ever after.